Hello, my dear friends of the world, Paul the Trombonist here. And in this video, we're going to talk about double tonguing, what it is, how to go about practicing it, and how to apply it in a musical context. So don't go on. Right, so double tonguing. Double tonguing is exactly what it sounds like it is. It's using double the tongue. So normally when we tongue, let's for example, let's say we say the syllable to or ta. Think about this. Ta, 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 tu, tu, t, t, t. That's the front end of the tongue right here. That's what's happening there. And double tonguing is just training your tongue, the back end of your tongue, to articulate the notes on your instrument. So there are syllables that can come from the back end of the tongue. These syllables are more of like a K kind of a uh, syllable, like ka, ku, even G syllables, gu, and that has this kind of a sound. So, that's where the back end of the double tonguing comes from. When we put the front end with the back end, that's when we actually get the double tonguing, okay? Because you gotta use them both to get the double tonguing. Otherwise, it's just back tonguing. So, when you put them together, you get the double tonguing. So, it's gonna be syllables such as, there are many syllables. There are taka, tuku, some people say dugu, daga, and then there's a whole other system of doodle tonguing that a lot of jazz musicians use because it has more of a smoother effect. Today we're going to talk about taka and tuku. Those are the ones we're going to talk about. So we use the front end of our tongue all, all the time, and it's really strong. So we just need to train the back end of our tongue. So there are some exercises that uh, I'm going to show you that will help with that, okay? All right, so the first one we're going to do is this. We're going to first go two, 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 coo, 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 coo. Then I'm going to rest, and then I'm going to go two, coo, two, coo, two, coo, two, coo, two. Rest two three. Then I'm gonna go two 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 coo 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 two 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 coo two. I wrote this all out for you as a download, so don't get overwhelmed with what to remember. And there'll be a link in the description, and I'll also let you know how to get it at the end of the video. Okay, so that's the first one we're gonna start on. All right. The idea is to match the front end of the tongue with the back end of the tongue. You're going to start these slow and over time you're going to end up working them up. And you want them to be very similar with how they sound. And you won't be able to hear the difference between if you're using the front end of the tongue or if you're using the back end of the tongue. Okay, so here that sounds like applied to the instrument. Okay, so that was the one on two coup, okay? And that's gonna help with, it's like a tongue twister, really. You know, we know tongue twisters, so it's a very similar kind of a thing as a tongue twister, except we're just trying to get the muscle memory together on our tongue. Okay, so that was the one on two coup. We're gonna do the one on ta ka. By the way, you'll be doing these in all the different positions, all over your horns. I wrote these out into the different positions for you as well. So now we're going to ta ka. This is ta ka. Thank you. 
you're going to practice that in all the positions. For example, you'll go here. So I'm switching between the front end of the tongue, the back end of my tongue. Now that's all fine and dandy, but that's not really melodic, you know. It's just playing one note to get comfortable with the process of using the tongue. So how are we going to practice some melodic content and apply it to music because that's what we're doing here is music not exercises the ultimate goal so I got some uh, exercise that will help you get used to melodic content so this one here is gonna be like just working a scale so it would be like similar let's start with the tuku we're gonna go Two ku 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 two We're gonna start slow like that, you know, and then eventually gonna work it up. But it's gonna sound like this. And then I just go to different keys and I do the same thing. And you can also, well, I also recommend you practice it on taka. Okay, taka. So taka would be. And so on. And you can do dugu, you can do daga, all similar process. I recommend you find one that really works for you. But try them all. Try them all, see which one resonates with you, and then apply that one as your go-to double tonguing articulation okay now we just go to you know the different uh, keys little more challenging actually in the lower register a little more challenging so let's pretend that we practiced this for a long time and now we're at the ability where we're working up the tempo okay so now the tempo is going to be worked up so you can hear how you can use it because the point of the double tonguing is to be able to play at faster tempos for as fast as you can single tongue if you learn to double tongue you'll be able to double tongue twice as fast for example you're going See how that's twice as fast? Because I'm maximizing the mileage. I don't have to move as much tongue, so I'm going instead of I mean, you can have a pretty fast single tongue, but it's never going to be quite as fast as a So, uh, then we're going to move, move up the tempo. See it? So there it goes. If you like copies of these, just uh, go to the description and, or there's a card that's going to be popping up and uh, you can get this all written out for you so you can practice with it, no problem. Alright, thanks for watching if you're new here and if you've been returning, appreciate you always coming back. You're the greatest people in the history of the human civilization, Paul the Trombonist and Banana signing off.